This episode is brought to you by The Look Company, experts in branding and signage. Q-tip time, everyone. Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar here, and today we're going to be talking about DAOs. Yes, those beautiful, majestic boats. You know, if you were just cruising on the sea, not on the road, you'd be in a DAO. Trust me. Jump in the foe, hit the juice on my ride. I got front and back. Inside the side. Here's the thing. DAOs actually have many different names. A DAO is not a DAO is not a DAO. Let's talk about some of those names. The one that you're most probably familiar with is known as a Jalbut. These are medium-sized DAOs. These days are fitted with engines. They're used for fishing and also getting close to the coast. Close to the coast. Now we've talked about a medium-sized one. Let's start talking about the big one. Yes, this is the Whale of DAOs, also known as a Sambuch. Here's a little interesting fact. This is actually a word that probably originated from Greece, Sambuke. And we took it. It's ours now. Thank you, Greece. Now you might be familiar with hearing this word. This DAO is known as the Betil. It has a long stem and a club-shaped nose. Yeah, Betil isn't just a place where you go and eat dates. It's also the name of a DAO. Now this one is actually quite similar to the Betil. It's the Bakara. It comes from the root word Bakara, which means cow. Yes, our boat is a cow that just slowly moves across the sea while you chillax in the back to the max. Jumped in the foe, hit the juice on my ride. I got front and back and side to side. Now, did you know that it actually takes up to two years to finish a DAO? It depends on the size and it depends on the materials that you're using. And on average, probably takes around nine months. But that's a long time, just so that you can get cruising on a cruise ship, an Arabic cruise cruise. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Now, although it might take two years, guess what? It's a worthwhile investment. They can last up to 120 years, maybe more if you take care of them. And by taking care of them, I don't mean, hey, how you doing? Oh, I like you. Nice down. No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about scraping those barnacles off. I'm talking about, you know, treating that wood. Make sure that you maintain it and you'll get your money back and more. Oh, and since I got you excited, I know you're probably wondering, okay, I wonder how much uh, Dow does cost. I'll tell you, it's one to four million reals. Yeah, it's kind of expensive. But you know, when you're taking people on cruises, charging them like, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, maybe, maybe set up a little restaurant on your Dow as well. Maybe you want to use it as a tool so you can actually go fishing. Yeah, as I said, you'll get your money back. Now, when we do take care of our Dows, it actually takes three months of maintenance, by the way. We remove them, we make sure that everything is taken care of from the scraping to the painting to the oiling to the everything. And it takes a while. Three months. Here's a little thing that you might not have noticed. Pick up that one real note. The third issue has a DAO on it. We're proud of our DAOs. Our DAOs are bros. <laughs> DAO bros. Now, if you're ever interested in riding a DAO, go on down to the Corniche. You'll see them all parked with sometimes some lights on top. And all you need to do is pay a couple of reals, a couple of bucks, and you get to enjoy a ride. You just go around, you'll be chilling, smelling the fresh air, get that sea breeze in your face. And you can imagine like you're like, you're like a pearl diver. Yeah, you'll be like, I am a pearl diver throwing my net. But don't throw anything to the sea because you want to keep it nice and clean. And then you can like sit down and pretend that you're Captain Jack, not Sparrow, Captain Jack Falcon. Oh, it is I, Captain Jack Falcon. Bring me my, not me, it's not halal. Bring me my Vimto, please. All right, so we've talked a lot about the DAOs, and one of the reasons is because Red Bull Qatar are doing a very special event. So here's what you need to know. Artists are going to be selected so that they can paint their designs on canvas. And of course, this is gonna happen at the Sheikh Faisal Museum. The curator will then go ahead and select the top designs. But what's gonna happen? Well, those winners are going to be able to paint their designs on an actual DAO, which is going to be displayed during the DAO exhibition. I think that's pretty cool. I now need to think about a really cool design. I mean, what would I, what would I do? One hour later. Try to maybe make it look, I would like to combine like something modern and traditional together. 
two hours later. I'm not saying that I would paint it like silver. Six hours later. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe ILQ pink? Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that Q-tip and you've learned something here today. If you have and you appreciate this video, please don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to also subscribe. And of course, share this video so other people can see it and hopefully they can subscribe too. And if you've got a question, make sure to ask us in the comments section below. And of course, I say it all the time. I say that you need to punch the bell, but this time, maybe I'll just go a little bit gentle. See that bell? See that bell? Just like <laughs> and now it's time for comment of the week. This is from Dipendra Adhikari. He says, Mr. Q, I like your video and I like you too. I'm from Nepal. Keep putting videos, please. Hey, Nepali bros, you guys rock. There's a lot of Nepalis here in Qatar. I really appreciate all of you guys helping to make Qatar a better place. And thank you especially for watching our videos and of course, leaving us a comment. Appreciate it. <laughs>